Hi, my name is Carrie Lynn Sukuma, and I research emerging tobacco products and their impact on health. The hottest trend right now are electronic cigarettes, or vaping. In fact, vaping is 2014's word of the year. And more than that, vaping has surpassed tobacco cigarette use among teens. Wondering what vaping or e-cigarettes are, or how they work, or why you should care? Here are the basics. So these are just a few examples of e-cigarettes and mods available from more than 460 different brands and counting. But they generally all work the same way. There's a mouthpiece, a cartridge or tank that contains liquid mixture made up of propylene glycol and or glycerin, nicotine and flavorings, and a battery unit that heats up the liquid so it can be vaporized as you inhale. So the big question is, are these safe? Well, for those of you who have tried quitting traditional cigarettes and are thinking of switching to e-cigarettes to help reduce and quit smoking, talk with your doctor or call the quit line first. Although research indicates there are fewer carcinogens and other unhealthy elements in e-cigs, there have been no long-term studies on the effect of e-cigarettes on your health or whether or not they can help you successfully quit. It may be a better uh, alternative than traditional cigarettes if it helps you quit nicotine altogether. But your doctor or the quit line will help you make the right choice for you and provide the support necessary for success. So for those of you who are curious about e starting e-cigarettes or vaping, don't. Not only do e-cigarettes still contain harmful elements, there's evidence that the particulates or tiny droplets of liquid that you inhale are so small they can get deep into your lungs and cause inflammation and possibly contribute to cardiovascular disease, asthma, and pneumonia risks. For the rest of us, it's easy to forget that nicotine itself is a powerful drug, just as addictive as other illicit drugs such as heroin. And for youth and young adults, nicotine can alter brain development. It's far from harmless and best not to start at all. Most importantly, if you have children, keep these products out of their reach. Nicotine is a poison and as such should be kept away from children. The liquids are colorful, smell like candy, and are attractive to kids, and very small amounts if ingested or touched by children can be lethal. Nicotine is absorbed rapidly and a child has recently died due to liquid nicotine. If you or a child has come into contact with nicotine, call poison control immediately. And if you choose to vape, treat it as you would secondhand smoke and don't vape in cars with young children or around others. Despite what the vape industry states, research has found that nicotine and other chemicals are found in the vapor you exhale. It is not simply harmless water vapor. Finally, be wary of industry advertising. This industry is not regulated, so any claim that these products are healthy or harmless or can help with cessation is completely false and cannot be backed up by non-industry sponsored research. The National Institutes of Health and the FDA are sponsoring research that will help clarify the facts and within a few short years, we'll have better answers on how these products affect health. If you'd like to quit or want to learn more about me and my research, check out the links on the screen.